This is actually kind of funny. Look, I'm not in focus, but through the lens of the, <laughs> the glasses I am. I'm trying to show you, you see that? Yeah. Can you also see those? Those are teeth marks. Yeah, because uh, Panda straight up chewed my glasses and broke them. So now I gotta go get some super glue and fix them. What is up and welcome back. In this video, we are gonna be talking about, you guessed it, Task Warrior. Now, uh, as I mentioned already, uh, Panda has all but destroyed my glasses. So we're gonna go contacts. And I, I want you to know that it's weird for me to see myself without glasses on. I have this weird thing about the balance of my face because the beard makes my chin look huge and then the hat makes my hair look small. I'm gonna try and like tilt my head in like this as much as I can. I think that's gonna make it look pretty cool. Let me check it, yeah. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can take Task Warrior and sync it across multiple devices. If you're anything like me, you have got all kinds of a lot of different systems running. You've got your main laptop, which I got running over here, which is my it's a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, X1 Carbon. I've got a MacBook that I use for editing. Oh, look at that. Then I've got my phone, and I use this uh, Samsung Note 9. I use this in Dex mode all the time. And then I've got these two that I use for uh, filming. So I got a uh, iPhone SE. This phone, by the way, this iPhone SE. This thing came out. I bought this, I think, three or four or five or six. I love this phone. I wish the battery life was better. The other thing, too, is that Moment, Moment doesn't make a case for this. Anyway, I have a lot of devices, and sometimes I'm working on one, and sometimes I'm working on a different one, but I always want my tasks to be in sync across all of them. Like if I'm working on this laptop today, but then I need to go edit a video in Final Cut on the lap MacBook, which is actually over here, uh, I need to be able to have my tasks in sync because I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to like come back over here to tell the task that it's done. I want it to all be in sync across everything. And especially with Dex mode, now I can run Termux, I can actually pull my tasks onto my phone, which is, Cool. Yesterday I was on my way home from an appointment and I had some tasks that I wanted to add before I forgot. And literally as I'm sitting in my car, I just pulled up Termux and added the tasks there and then task sync, boom, and they show up here. So for if for no other reason, you should do it for that. And if you have an Android phone, uh, you can install Termux and then you, you literally you're taking your tasks with you. If you're on iPhone and I have not tried this out, I will, I'll, maybe I'll test it and do a, another video about that, but there is an app called Termius. T term I U S. Uh, you can check it out for this, but it will work the exact same way. So let's jump on and actually go through, and I'll, I want to show you how this thing works. The nice thing about this is that there somebody else has already sort of solved this problem, so it's not really that complicated. You just need to I need to show you where to go, and then follow the instructions on that page. So if you go ahead and pull up your little browser window, and then you go to freesync.com, so F R E E C I N C.com. What this uh, system will allow you to do, like. You may have gone to Task Warrior and seen that they have that there's a way you can set up your own task server. But the beauty of FreeSync is that they created a free service where you just have to generate some security keys and they will store your tasks on their server so you don't have to worry about any of that mess. It's totally worth it. So go to freesync.com. You're gonna click this big button, generate my keys. Clickety clickety. Well, that's that's gonna take a couple of seconds to actually load. Because it's, what it's doing is it's generating specific keys for you and then giving you the ability to download them. So literally from this point on, all you need to do is follow the instructions. Number one, make sure you have Task Warrior 2.3 or greater, which if you're watching this, it probably means you watched one of my other videos, in which case you probably just installed it recently. So you'll have Task Warrior 2.3 or greater. Um, then you're gonna grab these three files, just click on them to download them and you're gonna save them into uh, your .task directory. Then uh, this next section, this is the coolest part because you don't have to do anything. You just copy and paste each one of these commands one at a time. First thing you do is you're setting up the server itself, which is the freesync.com, and then the port you're using is 53589. Don't think about it, don't worry about it. Just copy and paste. Um, and then when you do the task diagnostics, it will actually show you 
um, that you have it set up correctly. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And then the last thing you do is you just type in task sync init for initiate, and that will, that will upload all of your current tasks up to the task server, and then you can pull them down from wherever else you're doing. And then literally, you save this page, and it will always give you access to these uh, different documents here, and you can set that, you do the exact same thing on every one of your machines. So when I set this up on my computer, the first thing I did was go through this process, copy all these things in, now I've got it set here. So now the tasks that I create on this computer get synced to the cloud, to this freesync.com. Then when I go configure my phone, I do the exact same process, download the files, put them in the right folder. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Put them in the right folder and then uh, run these exact same commands. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And now this is gonna sync with the same server. I do the same thing on the Mac, I do the same thing on this, and then I will actually try out, I'll do the same thing on this phone, I'll show you what it looks like. And that's it. Basically from there, uh, it's gonna set itself up and you are uh, good to go. So make sure you save the actual page. Now let me actually open up my terminal and I will show you um, what this looks like once you've got it set. So now you can see we're on my terminal. I'll actually just walk you through this process of copying these things in. So I'm going to my that page. First thing I'm gonna do is copy the, uh, the task server configuration command, copy, drop that in here, boom. It's gonna ask you, you're gonna say yes. Boom, done. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this out so that we can, because I like things to be clean. Okay, so now from here, we're just gonna do our uh, task diagnostics uh, command. Then you'll see if we scroll up here, configuration file is set, good, we got the server right, we got the files all set right here. Now you will notice these are set to not readable, and that just means that when I copy these files into that directory, I use the Windows Explorer, and that doesn't set the permissions correctly. So what we need to do just real quick is we need to go and we need to, jump into that task folder, and then we need to change the permissions on the folder. So we're gonna do chmod, and then plus r for read, and then we're just gonna do freesync underscore. Now one thing that you'll find that's really cool is most uh, terminal emulators, if you, um, if you get the first part of a file right, you can just hit tab and it'll auto-complete it. So you don't have to actually do the whole thing. So you can see here I've got this b1, which is the correct one, because I've got some other ones in there. Uh, and we got to do this for all three. So the CA, the cert, and the key. So we're going to do dot CA, boom. And then the same thing, if you just hit the up arrow, it will copy the command from before. And we'll do cert, boom, and then up. And then we'll do key, boom. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Task diagnostics and C. See, now we've got it here. Uh, the file's correct and it's readable. Perfect. So now we're going to do, let's clear this. Now we're gonna do task sync initiate. It's gonna ask, we're gonna say, yes, we wanna upload all the files, boom. And now it's uploaded a bunch of tasks. Really, it's as simple as that. All you gotta do is go to freesync.com, follow the instructions, and then make sure that if those, if those files aren't readable in the diagnostics window, all you're doing is chmod, I'll write it down here, chmod plus r, and then the name of the file. You're good to go from there. Hopefully you enjoyed that, hopefully that made sense. My name is Brett Martineau. We'll see you in the next video.